I think there's a lot of confusion in the marketplace, certainly in the marketers that I talk to, around the difference between exchange as a concept, RTB as a concept, and programmatic as a concept. Um, so can you talk about how those things are the same or not the same? Sure. Um, so at, at, at Videology, we are um, a media technology and services provider that has a platform that's um, tasked with meeting advertiser objectives. Mm -hmm. So when we think of inventory, we think of supply, we think of accessing supply, we really think about the importance of accessing all supply, right? And so when we talk about programmatic buying, RTB exchanges, it's important to understand what those things are because yeah. all supply is important to meet advertiser objectives, right? So programmatic to us is just any data enabled, um, technology um, uh, uh, enabled way to buy and sell media, right? Yeah. Okay. Can I mean I'm, I'm going to push you a little bit. I mean, sure. can you sort of define exchange, define RTB, and define programmatic? Sure. So as programmatic, kind of the umbrella of kind of automated buying and selling. Okay. So if you use that as the umbrella, then the exchange is the the mechanism in which um, you can put supply and bring different bidders into access that supply. Mm -hmm. And Mike from Spot Exchange can talk about uh, you know the specifics of of, of how an exchange operates. Um, RTB is really the buying modality of being able to buy at the impression level with data uh, in an auction format. So if you take the premise that that is the most um, efficient way to buy, um, you know, it, it's a great way for buyers and sellers to meet. The question that we all need to consider though is, is that the most efficient way to meet advertiser objectives? Mm -hmm. Which, because not all supply is available in an RTV format, it doesn't meet that criteria. You need to be able to take into account all supply. As Rob was talking earlier about the futures market and the upfront market in TV, mm -hmm. it's the same in online video. While there isn't necessarily the same upfront concept, you know, those are meeting advertiser objectives you need to think about how do I go long in inventory, secure inventory up front, as well as participate in the spot market. So is that where RTB stops and programmatic starts? I mean, where, you know, what's the end point of RTB that gets picked up with programmatic? Well, I think, you know, thinking of program, programmatic in a more broad fashion, you have private exchanges, you can link buyers and sellers in different ways in an automated fashion. So for example, you could take content that folks don't want to sell on an auction basis, but they want to sell on the same way that they've, they've you know, contracted for years on an upfront basis, guaranteed basis, guaranteed CPM, but you can automate that process. So that's more programmatic buying as opposed to RTB. So I'm curious, Mike or, or Christina, I mean, do you have clients that still talk about RTB and programmatic interchangeably, or are they looking for those things as separate, you know, uh, separate offerings or separate opportunities? Well, from the, the supply side, I'd say um, even you know people internal at Spot Exchange used RTB and programmatic yeah. uh, interchangeably, um, just because you know it's this is a new industry and we're all really inventing this as it goes along and and, and we're learning about it. But um, yeah, absolutely. From the the supply side, I think what we hear um, from the publishers when we say programmatic or RTB they just immediately turn to exchange, right? So all three of those terms, and I'm glad we discussed the subject because, you know, I, I think that all three of those terms, you know, people just lump them together, right? So there's some Pavlovian response when you say, um, oh, exchange or RTB or programmatic, and they go unsold inventory. And I think it's really going beyond that uh, because really when you define programmatic as an automated way to connect buyers and sellers and for them to, to, to trade, to, to um, transact, uh, it opens it up to you know, those other markets, as, as Tom was saying, those, um, you know, not only selling unsold inventory in exchange-based or an auction-based format, um, you know, but also doing it uh, in, a, in a futures market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I would just add to that that um, the difference for us, I mean, really, when you break down RTB, the B in RTB is, is really um, bidding, you know, um, this idea of paying on an impression by impression basis a different amount based on who the viewer is um, versus, um, 
you know, the real-time decision that happens with programmatic. However, we may, we may not be paying um, a different price per impression. We may have already, we may have an arrangement, an agreement with a, with a supplier that we're going to pay a certain amount. So um, RTB, real-time bidding, allows us to pay a different price for each impression, whereas programmatic um, is, is, as Tom was saying, more of the umbrella. Um, it not only allows us to pay a different price per impression, we don't have to, we can pay the same price per impression, but it allows us to make a decision on an impression by impression basis whether or not to deliver I, an ad. I like that. I mean, the sort of bidding versus decisioning yeah. construct is, is helpful.